The actual movement of people through the Rafa border into Egypt um, is, is being closely coordinated with Egyptian authorities, and we have uh, personnel, both uh, our GAC consular authorities, and they are assisted by the Kenyan Armed Forces in Egypt. We're also working with, with international partners, such as, as Qatar, um, and, and with who is, who is negotiating with the, the authority that exists in, in, in Gaza, and we're also working with the Israelis. I believe the priority has been placed upon uh, the evacuation of those who are wounded, and, and some of the smaller countries who had very few people in, in the area, but we have a, a fairly significant presence of Canadian uh, citizens in Gaza, and our priority is to get them safe. There is no specific impediment uh, with respect to Canadians. We're working very closely with all of the, the, the nations that I, I just spoke of. We also work very closely with our international allies, the, the Americans and the, and the Brits in the region. Um, we have a place of priority, and, and we, it has been acknowledged by the Israeli authorities. We're working very closely with them, and we hope to get uh, Canadians to safety in, in the very near future. Is it Hamas holding up the list at this point? Uh, and again, I, I don't want to speculate on, on, on exactly what the challenges are. There are challenges. Um, in, in, in that, that entire region, there's a humanitarian crisis taking place there as well. And, and we are also working very hard to get humanitarian aid into the region for people who desperately need it. Uh, but the, but the uh, repatriation of, of Canadian citizens in, in Gaza remains a priority for us. We'll continue to work with all of our allies and all the people that control that border to get to people to safety as quickly as possible.